a lot of disturbing and graphic images from Kenosha overnight, really the past three nights since that Sunday police shooting involving Jacob Blake. Let's get right to Yasmeen at the live desk. Yeah, Ryan, in fact, some of the video, I want to say most of the video is actually too graphic, too disturbing for us to show you. But again, we did just learn within the last 30 minutes or so, two people were shot and killed overnight during the unrest. A third person also shot. That person is expected to survive, but you are taking a look at some some of the very latest videos of the uh, violence that's been happening over the last couple of hours in Mugo, just getting to Kenosha, getting to the scene within the last uh, few minutes. Mugo, what have you been seeing? Yeah, yeah, I mean, what a difference a few hours makes, right? Because it's very quiet out here. But if you look behind me, you can see this fencing around this courthouse. It's put out here to keep people away. And just on the other side, several trucks out here as well to keep those protesters away. It looks like the one on the uh, left side over here looks like it's been, uh, right side rather, looks like it's been burned. So if you look on the ground as well, you can see a lot of trash on the other side. So protesters were definitely out here for much of the night. Now, where we really actually wanted to get to was on 63rd Street and Sheridan. That is where the incident, this shooting happened. So here is video of part of that. The incident was around 1145 last night. But Yasmin, as you mentioned, we're not going to show that video to our viewers because it's very graphic. But it appears graphic. But it does appear that it shows a man holding a long gun, shooting several protesters. Kenosha police say two people were killed and other people, another person was injured. Now, it's still not clear what led up to the shooting or how many shooters were involved. But we did hear in that video several gunshots. Now, we should note there were several people out there last night. You had those protesters and then you had an armed group calling themselves armed citizens to protect our lives and property. They say they were there to protect the city from looting and burning. So what's still not clear is whether that man with the long gun, that shooter, was part of that group. But again, police say they're investigating. They are searching for that shooter and asking anyone who has any information to let them know. But as you can see behind me, this is what is left behind from this protest from last night. A lot of debris, uh, fences around this courthouse just trying to keep people away. But really sad to know that two people have died as a result of that protest. Police searching for this man who may have been involved. And if we have any additional information that we get from police this morning, we'll be sure to pass it along to you. We're live in Kenosha, Wisconsin. Mugo Digwe, CBS 2 News.